In this video, we're going to take a look at an Ethernet broadcast. An Ethernet broadcast is when the destination MAC address is 48 1 bits, or in hexadecimal, all Fs. So looking at the animation here, we have H1 going to send a broadcast to all the other devices. This might be a message that it needs all the devices in its network to receive. So we can see H1 sends the broadcast. When a switch receives an Ethernet broadcast, it floods or forwards the Ethernet frame out all ports except the incoming port. The result is all the devices in the network will receive the broadcast. If we have a router in the network, it will receive the broadcast also. However, the router will not forward the broadcast on to other networks. In this video, we're going to introduce ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. ARP is used when we know the IPv4 address where we want to send the packet, but what we don't know is the device's Ethernet MAC address. For example, here we have PC1 that wants to send a packet to the destination IPv4 address of 192.168.1.9, the FTP server. PC1 knows the IPv4 address that, of the FTP server, but what it needs to know is its MAC address because it needs to encapsulate this IPv4 packet in an Ethernet frame. So what PC1 does is it first looks in its ARP table. It looks for the IPv4 address of 192.168.1.9. If the address is not in its ARP table, it will send out an ARP request. So the animation shows PC1 sending out the ARP request. Notice that the ARP request is an Ethernet broadcast. What that means is when the switch receives this Ethernet broadcast, that's a destination MAC address of all one bits, the switch will flood the Ethernet broadcast, the ARP request out all ports except the incoming port. The reason for the broadcast is PC1 needs to know who on this network has the IPv4 address 192.168.1.9. It's saying, hey, everybody on my network, whoever has 192.168.1.9 as your IPv4 address, please reply back to me with your MAC address. So this ARP request goes out to every device on the network including the router. Now, when the router receives this Ethernet broadcast, it will not forward it out other networks. So the Ethernet broadcast, this ARP request, stays on this network. So as we can see, the ARP request goes to everyone, and the FTP server says, hey, that's my IPv4 address you're looking for. I'm going to send you back a ARP reply with my MAC address. Now PC1 has the Ethernet MAC address of the FTP server at 192.168.1.9 and can now send that packet in an Ethernet frame to the FTP server.